if myself and other women of color had not stepped in in the moment that Me Too went viral, this would have been just something that stayed in Hollywood, that stayed in the news as some salacious gossip. People wouldn't have seen that it's a, that it's a movement. It's a part of a larger um, ongoing long-term movement to end sexual violence. And so as a black woman, I feel both the, the pride um, and the burden of carrying this kind of work forward um, in this body. We are absolutely centering um, black women and girls, people of color, queer, trans, disabled folks in our work um, because we know that solving and interrupting and solving the issue of sexual violence in those communities means ending sexual violence everywhere. We have not received any of those funds that have moved towards black led organizations in this moment. And I think it's because folks don't automatically understand the intersection of sexual violence and structural racism. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. We see so many people who are committed to misunderstanding what the Me Too movement is about. And so our work um, within, with the anniversary this year going forward is about how do we continue to educate the public? How do we get loud about what we are actually about? That we are about healing and we are about action. We are not focused on the harm doers. We are focused on 